Hey peeps, Candace here with Cam's Only One Life with a D-Stash. I can't give you the exact prices that I'm going to put everything in because I haven't put them in yet. Usually I put them in first and then do the video, but since it's quiet here, I want to get the video done. Um, I have some stamps. I have this Letters of Love Stampin' Up stamp set, which is well used, but still really nice rubber on that one. Next we have some trees and this cute little quote and then a mason jar I don't think this has ever been used it's absolutely clean it's brand new some more quotes and a really nice background stamp okay it's a nice background stamp some more trees A fence, a couple of fences, trees, and then a couple of quotes here about friends. Okay. So those. I have these, which you can't probably see very well. Let me see if I can zoom out here. Um, these are pages. What I did was when I make the boho journals, I take these pages and I fold them in half or whatever, you know, and then it goes into a signature, okay, or thirds or whatever, wherever. And so this will stick out of the side of the journal. So I have over 40 pages of those here. You can see all the cloth, the sari ribbon, um, the lace and again this side just colorful lace okay these are going to be sent media mail because they have to be shipped separately or the your package would be expensive to ship so I'm gonna send these separately so the price will include shipping so if you buy these <coughs> and you ask for free shipping for something on else on, on something else I'm, I can't do that because I'll have to send it separately. So, just so you know. Okay, so these will be in there. I'll figure out how much on those. I haven't done that yet. It won't be very much. Medium mail doesn't cost very much. Here's a couple more. With those, I'm gonna go ahead and send these doilies too. I think I can get away with sending these because they're just paper. Okay, so next I have all of these other stamps and stencils. And I'm not exactly sure, like I said, I'm doing this sort of backwards how I normally do it. This is a Tim Holtz set. You can see it there. I have a bunch of Tim Holtz, okay, that I separated from their... These are birds, cute birds, separated from their stencils. Special delivery. Okay, these are kind of older sets, so a lot of you probably already have these or have had them. Artist, story, create. Okay. These are all ones that I had set aside for my grandson to use, and they never got used. So these are all new. They're just out of their packages. Okay. So Fispers. I got a bunch of Fispers. Okay. I got, oh, this one's cute. Little Moments. That's cute. It's got a bunch of stuff on there. You're invited. Kitchen stuff. Another mason jar. Label it handmade. Oh, I love this. This is all like handmade. From my garden, yum, open me, 100% handmade. These are cute. Here's a January through, this is a date. It was actually meant to be with Project Life. 
Um, let's see. And then I have this one from Dina Wakely. And this is the, her hearts. Okay. And I believe it's possible that this is the one that went with it. The Muser Hearts. Okay. I've got these stencils. And they're sort of, they have plastic on the back, so they're like masking stencils. Like I think they have a little bit of a stickiness to them. Um, and so they're, they're masking stencils. And this goes with those. Then I have a bunch more stencils. I have these from Tim Holtz. And again, these are kind of the older ones, but if there were some that you didn't get, maybe you get these. Get these. And I'll probably put these in groups. Here's that actual set with the stamp and stencil. There's a stencil. Stencil. This has both of these stencils, this one and so these two, okay. This one, faded dots, dot fade, rays, and clock together. This one's cool. Again, I had pulled these for my grandson, and then we never got around to using them. So guess what? I'm going to sell them. He's not really doing stuck with me and I have these already we could use mine if he was doing stuff so okay there's those and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna put those on um, I just know that I I need to de-stash these okay and then I have one more thing to show you So all these archival inks, most of them are the Ranger archival. As you can see, this is like blues and purples. There's a green in there. Okay. I'll just put it up here so you can see. Okay. And then this set, some of them have distress. Some of these sets have some distress archivals in them. And as you know, these go, these set, these archival inks, and then there's the letter ones. These archival inks go for uh, about $11.99 for a pack of four. So even if you said $10 for a pack of four, each one of these tins would be worth $30. Plus the tins, which you will get, okay? And then all the reinkers, which go for four to five dollars a piece. So you're going to get in this set about two hundred dollars worth of product here. Okay, and I'm going to try to make it a good deal. Um, this I have the reinkers for most of them. The letter ones um, don't have reinkers, but there's, I think there's 24 reinkers here. So you have almost all the reinkers that you will need for these. For these, um, you can just go through them and find out. These are all the distress ones, and these are all the, the Ranger archival. Okay, so hopefully, that will sell. Okay, the link is below to get to the store. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the store. Um, these are gonna need a medium flat rate box. And you can see some of these had leaked during shipment. A lot of these, some of these have the um, the foam on the back. A lot of them have the foam on the back. I don't know how many, but I would say probably all the archival, plain archival. Well, that one doesn't. Anyways, have a lot of them on the back, so I don't know um, how many, but... 
And like I said, some of these leaked during shipment to me, and that's why I kept those ones because they're stained, but they're still full. I've never used these reinkers. These are all brand new. So I'm going to make sure they're in plastic in case there's any more linkage, but it should be good to go. So the link is below to get to the store. I hope you come and help me destash my office, make room, and um, that's about it. I'll see you till. See you next time with another D-Stash.